The way she speaks reminds me of like the leaning tower of Chiza guy. <laughs> How many people are gonna get that? Okay, well, who wouldn't get that? I think is the better. Hi, I'm Nivy. Hi, I'm Cashew. Welcome back to Hell of a Boss. So we were like certain that episode seven was the season finale. And wouldn't you know it, we were shocked to find out it is the season finale. But there is also a season one, episode eight, which there's some sort of like production delay or something with the episode. So it came out later. But from what I understand, this episode does take place after episode seven. So even though episode seven was the season finale, we are supposed to watch episode eight before moving on to season two. Or yeah, we're intended a to. Bonus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what we're going to do. Last episode, it was Millie and Moxie's anniversary and Moxie got them tickets to go to Ozzy's. Yeah, but their love was too strong. It was too strong for the lust <laughs> ring. They couldn't handle That's their true. love. They were you only about lust. They didn't even care. They didn't even care that other people were like, ew, get out of here. They were just loving. They were just loving mm -hmm. on each other and it was cute and wholesome and nice and I'm glad they did it. Agreed. It was really, really nice. But it, it's made Blitz spiral. Yeah, Blitz, he also felt that he was invited to their anniversary. So <laughs> he came to and used Stolas to get I in know. there. Poor Stolas, my heart. My heart, breaks, dude. man. I saw Stolas' face and he was so excited. And uh -huh. then when he was there, he was trying to make small talk and it's like, no, don't reject Stolas. He's too sweet. Yeah, heartbreaking. You know what else is heartbreaking though? What's is that? that the reason that Blitz is like, acting like that is because he doesn't value himself he doesn't see himself worth a relation like a real relationship uh -huh. which is also sad for a season finale yeah that was so heartbreaking what the hell we kept saying like oh i really want to find out more about blitz i really want to find out more about blitz i'm scared to find out more about blitz man my heart breaks every time we find out a little piece of him Let's see what happens in episode eight. But before we do, make sure you do all the YouTube stuff. Make sure you like, <laughs> comment, and subscribe. It's really cool to yeah. do. We also have a Patreon, so check it out. We got a bunch of cool stuff on there, a bunch of exclusive shows, including this show, two weeks ahead. At least. So let's get into it. Yeah, let's go. Luna all dressed up. What is that picture <laughs> that she has for Blitz? <laughs> Where is she? Oh, this was... She left a note for him at the end of the last oh, episode Oh, because she's saying, going to a party with that yeah, guy. Yeah, Tex, Tex's girlfriend or something. Hey, I'm her. Here. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's so relatable. Ooh, Whoa. this is fancy. What ring is this? Forgot yeah, what they said about the, the colors of the where the hell are they, man? Luna. Luna? <laughs> I'm going to say her name like that from now on. Oh. I think Tex looks different to me. Oh, it's like a... It's only oh. Hell House. Oh, it's hey. them, I guess. Well, those are some skeezy looking imps. Yeah, why is he looking at her like that? Oh my gosh, I'm this <laughs> what? person. Nah. I'm, she, they sound like Did she LSD. just say not fetch? Did she? I'm Jay. <gasps> okay, sometimes oh people throw up. God. Sometimes people throw up. Why does she have that picture just on her phone? Yeah, you're the weirdo here, dude. Puncher. Yeah, she's a hellhound. Maybe it's because I'm in the presence of a massive bitch. Whoa! Why? I think that that is okay to say. Yeah, I'm mean, call people up. You're being so negative. <laughs> I think I did a pretty good impression. Yeah. Oh my god, it's one of those dogs. What is, Boinzo what? or something. Who is this? Is this a hellhound? It looks like a bug. Oh, she's the bee. Oh, this episode is the called episode's called bee, Queen right? Bee. Yeah. Oh, it's like Whoa. a bee dog. What the hell? Why does she have so many cool arms? Like, why is she like... Oh, that looks like Whoa, brains, but hell? I just... I know it's cotton candy because she's saying cotton candy, but it looked like <laughs> brains. Her stomach is like... um. Yeah, see? It's like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a liquid or something. What, what are you? She doesn't even look like a dog to me. Nope. She looks like a, like a fox, no, 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 like a fennec fox. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. She is cool, but I prefer Verasica. Rossica's mean. <laughs> How do you know this person isn't mean? They're in she hell. Probably everyone's probably mean. She seems nice. She's talking about cotton candy. 
That's true. <laughs> Nobody who sings about cotton candy could be bad. Also, right? we still she's like a fox, right? Yeah, that's what it looks fox. like. Uh. Also, she's got crazy magic. Also, we still haven't seen Tex's girlfriend. Are those drugs? I'm starting to think it is. People go crazy after they have it. I'm really sus about what it is she's feeding them. Well, I think I've heard this girl's voice before. Is that Vortex's girlfriend? Belphegor. <gasps> oh, okay. You don't give a shit how freaky you come off. I don't think Luna comes off as freaky. Yeah, what the heck? I think she seems pretty normal. Reminds me of the first time I saw Satan without a shirt on. I was like, ooh, uh, 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 he's more like a brother to me. You know, uh, you're oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry? Who are you? <laughs> She's not mean though. Yeah. She's just kinda weird. Like in a friendly way. Uh-huh. Oh my god, that person in the cone. <laughs> oh, is that, is that, what, what's going on with that? It's what's like going beer, on with the cone? I guess. Yeah, but why was his tail sticking out? That was his nose. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow, she's uh, like, Luna. whoa, what the heck? She just doesn't, she's not good in social situations. That's all. I get it. I get it. I'm not good in social situations either. And look at him. He's going to show up right away because he loves her. I'm fine. Oh, man. <laughs> These people seem to know you. Come what? On. I think I want to What's happening right now? I think she, she wants to find out more about Blitz or something? One drink. No, I think oh. Does Blitz give her like confidence or something? Maybe. <laughs> the way that she talks, it's always like she's singing. Whoa, has she always been this big? She's bigger than Tex. So you better bring the fire, baby. You see what I mean? Uh huh. Bring the fire, baby. <laughs> Is this okay? Oh shit! <laughs> She's like, what the hell? <laughs> oh! oh <laughs> the way she speaks reminds me of like the Leaning Tower of Cheese guy. <laughs> How many people are gonna get that? Okay, well, who wouldn't get that? I think is a better answer. <laughs> Everyone likes you so much. What's that supposed to mean? You got a problem with Whoa. Don't well, she can get bigger. Whoa. Oh, I got a little spicy there. I just <laughs> hope everything works out. Got a little spicy. She seems nice. Yeah. She does. No, I, I've i turned. I I was suspicious at first. Fuck is your name again? Dennis. Price on a stick, you would be a Dennis. What the hell? What's he got to get Dennis? <laughs> Whoa! That guy was just waiting for his opportunity. He was waiting around the corner. To <laughs> that's be like a that's like a Looney Tunes sound effect. Him getting whapped in the face. Can Luna drive? Yeah, she looks old enough to drive. I mean, uh -huh. how'd she get here? Yeah, wait, how did she that's get so here? That's so true. How did she get here? Oh, she took like a taxi or something. I think. Yeah, I hope they have a heart to heart. He's going through something. She's going through something. Fuck, Fizz was right. <gasps> I'm gonna die alone, aren't I? Blitz. Will you be there, Looney? Beware. Well, I'll be there, Dad. No. I'll be your Moxie. <laughs> I just heard him say Moxie. I don't know what he said, <laughs> but. <gasps> Fuck. Yeah, I did need to throw up. <laughs> well, I'm sure it's gonna feel a lot better after that. That party was crazy. <laughs> so yeah, not so fetch. so fetch. Okay. So we saw in the credits that that Queen Bee person was voiced by Kesha. Like Kesha. Apparently that is the Kesha. That is the that, that's actual. That's crazy. I wasn't expecting like a musical performance by the Kesha. No wonder she sounded familiar to me. <laughs> yeah. Also, they have some like crazy connections on this show. Mm -hmm. like a damn YouTube show given out for free. And they got, they got these real fucking... Like crazy, crazy high profile people doing voices. That's cool. That's very cool. But yeah, just the way that, like the cadence of how uh, Queen Bee talked was like, really reminded me of a Goofy movie. I'm gonna have to watch that specific cheesa clip you're talking about. It's not even just when he says that. That's just how he talks. He talks like really, it's like a melody. I don't know. You guys, <laughs> go, go back and watch that movie. And you tell me if I'm crazy. Yeah, go watch the Goofy movie. One and two. 
He's in both. <laughs> okay, watch one and two. And Actually, he's more back. in two. So if you really want to see him, go to two because, you know, he joins the skate. You, just go okay. watch it, okay? He goes to college. It's great. Watch Goofy Movie, then watch Goofy Movie 2, then watch Goofy Movie 2 again, and then come back and listen to the rest of the No, and then watch this episode, and then come back and tell yeah. us. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Anyway, um, this was a sweet episode. I wonder if it's like she saw how everyone respected her dad and that like boosted her confidence. And mm -hmm. then she was like, oh, actually, maybe, yeah, let's go back into the party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if they think he's cool, they'll think I'm cool. Like if they if they're cool with him, like I, cause uh -huh. I feel like Luna, she's really cool. Like, I really do genuinely think that she's cool and interesting, but she clearly has social anxiety. Yeah. And so sure. she can't, she's not able to, like, be herself or be confident in a group setting. And I think Blitz, like, gave her confidence. Mm hmm I think that she should maybe be friends with Hex and Queen Bee. They seem like good people. They seem like that. Uh -huh. I don't know. Maybe... It might, maybe I'm too trusting of her, but I feel like she was giving me good vibes. Yeah, at first I was like super not trusting of her, but I think she was a good person. Like genuinely, like she actually cared about people. Mm -hmm. From from the very little bit where you got to see of her anyway, that's I was sort of getting those vibes by the end. When I see these situations, it's very relatable to me because I have severe social anxiety and I act weird at parties and I don't know what to talk about. And so I relate to Luna. If you saw the plastics at a party, would you walk up to them and no. be like, yeah, that's crazy. That never happens. <laughs> you see, I don't walk up to people at parties and I especially wouldn't walk up to them. <laughs> yeah. That was a good finale after the finale. Yeah. And now we can go on to season two. Woo! Yeah, we'll see you next time with season two. Yeah, goodbye! Goodbye!